this will be part 10 of making a very simple oscilloscope. And well, there is not so much progress at the moment. I'm working on the horizontal amplifier. The vertical amplifier will be absolutely no problem. It can be say an audio amplifier or uh, every other amplifier that can work between 1 Hz and approximately 40 kHz. So, uh, this is the situation. This is my Soltos generator that I've made in the past. A uh, video about that is on YouTube. Here is the whole, uh, say, oscilloscope circuit. And I want to show how the waveform that is generated now at the moment looks like. Of course, uh, it could be not very interesting. That's important to tell. So, here you see a, a sine wave out of this uh, sine wave generator and at the same moment there is a sawtooth wave that is generated by my homebrew sawtooth generator. Does it work now properly? Well, of course not, but in a certain way it works because we can see the two relations between the two AC voltages, both of the uh, sawtooth generator and out of the sine wave generator. Anyway, so perhaps interesting to show uh, and when I turn here that knob of the sawtooth, you can surely see all kinds of, say, effects. But of course, it, uh, they are not the uh, effects that I want. Though, on the other hand, it's very important to tell that I made uh, a uh, two transistor here, two transistor Darlington with two high voltage uh, transistors. I will give the type numbers in the uh, description and here you see what happens when I touch the plates here. You can see that this high voltage Darlington amplifies. I have to of course change, say uh, move the the dot more or less to the middle of the screen, but you see again when I touch it here, you see this. And well, that's a good sign. It surely shows that these two transistors here work. They are Darlington, both transistors are high voltage Darlington transistors and it works. The only problem is at the moment uh, how I could get the, say, push the dot from the left to the right uh, of the screen, etc. etc. Anyway, interesting, etc. etc. And of course, <coughs> uh, how we see the waveform depends on the frequency of the sine wave generator. So we have here a kind of sawtooth and here is uh, on the vertical plate that sine wave signal. So, uh, well, let's look further and uh, say search further on what I have made. Um, well, this was the first circuit. It is also completely visible in an 
earlier video in the description of this text box where I want to give the link. This was, by the way, the first circuit, but I have made some adaptations to this circuit. And that is shown here. Uh, in this circuit, I have a connected the sawtooth generator that I made earlier and the description of that sawtooth generator say time based generator is in an earlier video but now I have adapted it somewhat so I have to flip my camera uh, sorry for that say it's only there to uh, give a good idea about how that circuit was made and perhaps uh, you can copy it when you want to do these experiments these are very very long experiments by the way they take a lot of time uh, what are say the uh, new things about this circuit that is that compared to the uh, earlier circuits the horizontal plates here are connect now connected to ground zero minus etc etc and also the vertical plates here plate D is connected to ground and that is more or less confirm uh, say the old school everywhere available uh, circuits of such a simple oscilloscope pen over somewhat very slowly so that you can see the differences comp compared to the earlier circuit and this is also say an important uh, adaption uh, this is the salto generator here and I had to make the uh, salto I had to give the salto generator um, a somewhat other voltage and that was done here by the use of this 5k potentiometer in series with that original 4k7 potentiometer and well furthermore uh, nothing was changed and um, out of that uh, sawtooth generator there came a capacitor of 0.22 microfarad and it went to the this plate say the horizontal plate and that's completely logical because when you want to say drive the dot on the screen uh, from the left to the right side or the right to the left side you need a, a voltage here that's varying and uh, at the moment that is, uh, say, a kind of problem. Anyway, I want to say connect now my sawtooth generator to that to that uh, horizontal plate, and you can see that is not a problem. But it is not say the circuit that I want. Anyway. Uh, when you want to know more, study, say, serious circuits about um, simple oscilloscope tubes. Anyway, it's like I say, all experimental, but there are some important things to tell. 
for instance here. In this book you see how such a tube, a uh, cathode ray tube, has to be connected in a proper way. And you see here positive 50 volts, here is ground, and here is minus 1600 volts. In my case it's approximately 360 volts, but the principles stay the same. This is the book Electronica by P. G. van Engelshoven. It's from the 1960s. So this gives a very very good idea about how to um, connect all the say grids, the vanal cylinder, the anode, the cathode, the brightness grid, etc. etc. in a proper way. When you want to do such an experiment. Anyway, I want to give the title of the book. Uh, Electronica 1966, etc., etc. It is very instructive and on the other hand I want to uh, give, say, circuits of my own book. And here is that circuit that I made in the past of an other oscilloscope that worked properly, but only to maximum, say, 40 kilohertz. So usable for audio, etc., etc. Anyway, uh, that was more or less all to tell. This is my book. It's available on the Lulu website. Uh, these are high voltage transistors that I've used, etc. etc. So I hope this gives some courage to go on with such a uh, simple oscilloscope. I have to say that the horizontal movement here uh, works okay. Um, here also there is the switch that makes the lines on the screen move somewhat but uh, again, I have to say, uh, this is not, say, a, a good demonstration about how to make the sawtooth generator work. Normally, uh, you can see that on low frequencies, the dot is moved on the screen from the left to the right on a certain frequency. Uh, could be 1 hertz, 50 hertz, uh, 20 kilohertz, 1 megahertz. Of course, that is a frequency that this scope can never, never reach. It can only work in the future uh, to max maximum approximately 40 kilohertz. Uh, perhaps interesting to show. Again, uh, this is the horizontal amplifier made with two NPN transistors in a Darlington configuration. They make in a certain way that the dot moves, but again, I have to study the whole circuit much better and surely will give a properly working circuit in the next video. This is only a vlog. Thanks for watching. You see the sine wave and on that is superposed uh, the sawtooth generator. That's of course completely not logical.
anyway.